Today we're looking at a Mega Gardevoir Garbodor deck. So the main attacker of this deck is going to be Mega Gardevoir. The unevolved form of it is Gardevoir EX. We use uh, three, three, three Gardevoir EX with Life Leap and Shining Wind. Life Leap heal this, does 20 damage and heal, heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. Shining Wind for 100 damage and three Fairy Energy does during your opponent's next turn this Pokemon. Pokemon has no weakness. So this is really good against Mega Sizor. We run a 2-1 line of Mega Gardevoir. We run a 2 Brilliant Arrow Mega Gardevoirs. This, does, this attack does 30 damage times the amount of fairy energy attached to all your Pokemon. So for 6 energy, we're knocking, we're knocking out just about every EX in, in the game. And for 7 energy, we're knocking out just about every Mega. We run... One Despair Ray Mega Gardevoir for the Mega Mewtwo matchup. Despair Ray does 110, 110 damage. Discard as many of your bench Pokemon as you like. This attack does 10 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discarded this way. We run two Geomancy Xerneas. Geomancy does two, two, two of your bench Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search your deck for a Fairy Energy card and attach to that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. We run one Hoopa for setup. We has a little nifty ability called Scoundrel Ring. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may search your deck for up to three Pokemon EX, except for Hoopa EX. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. We run a 2-2 line of Garbodor. What Garbodor does has an ability called Garbotoxin. Garbotoxin states if this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool card attached to it, each Pokemon in play in each player's hand and each player's discard pile has no abilities except for Garbotoxin. So in other words, we can shut off Shaman, Hoopa, uh, Octillery, um, Garatina. It shuts off a lot of, a lot of, a lot, I, quite a few Pokemon's abilities, and it's quite useful. For our items, we run four Max Elixir. Max Elixir allows you to look at the top six cards of your deck and attach a basic energy card that you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. Shuffle all the other cards back into your deck. So basically, we can theoretically get a turn two Brilliant Arrow. We also run Mega Turbo. Attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. We run one Super Rod, shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So say for instance we have to discard two of our Mega Gardevoirs and the Hoopa, we can get them back. Ultra Ball, so discard two cards from your hand. If you can't discard two cards, you can't play this card. Search your card for, two, for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So basically what we're going to do is Ultra Ball, in, most of the time we're going to Ultra Ball for Hoopa, grab two Gardevoirs and a Mega Gardevoir. Sometimes we'll have that and we'll go grab a Hoopa or we'll go grab a Xerneas or Gar Trubbish or Garbiter. We run four VS Seeker. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. We run two Lysander. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. Three N. Three N is really a really good draw supporter because it allows you to reset your hand and also disrupt your opponent. Each each player shuffles his or her hand his or her hand into his or her deck. Then each player draws a card for each of his his or her remaining remaining pra prize cards. We run we run four Professor Sycamore. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. And the main key one of the main keys to this deck is Fairy Garden. We run four of these. Each Pokemon that has a fairy energy attached to it has no retreat cost. So, say for instance you start a Garbodor and you don't have a float zone, you can just attach an energy and retreat it. And that energy counts towards Brilliant Arrow's attack, so it's not a wasted energy. It's a place to put some it's a Garbodor is a place to put some energy on. Also, two float zone, each this Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. We use that for Garbodor, or if we have a Hoopa that got Lysandered up. Three Gardevoir Spirit Links. What this allows is me. This allows you to Mega Evolve without ending your turn. So turn two, we've got two energy on a Mega Gardevoir. We have two, one or two energy on the bench. So we manually attach an energy, play down a Spirit Link, and Mega Evolve and wreck face. <laughs> it's awesome. We run 13, ener 13 Fairy Energy, so we're going to go ahead and play a few matches with this deck. There's a couple cards that I chose not to put in. Trainer's Mail is a, is a card that you could put in, Another card, but there's 
this room's this this list is really tight. You could also put in Shaman. Um, I chose to leave those cards out for consist consistency purposes. So let's go see how this deck runs. So we're looking for an opponent right now. We're playing Portland Blazer 71, playing a water basic deck. I wonder if this is Greninja. I'm going to go ahead and call heads. Aw, darn it. Not a terrible start, but not a great start. I'm going to start out with the Trubbish. So we have two Water Energy, a Team Flare Ground, a Trainer Ooh, Oh, uh, it looks like we're running a Mill deck here. Slow King. Slow King has, an has a Psych Up and Royal Flush. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads, move an energy from one of your opponent's active Pokemon to one of his, his or her bench Pokemon. I sent Slow King Bunnelby. Two Bunnelby, probably. Yes. Oh, that's not bad. Done. Ooh, even interesting here. Lately. That's interesting. So we're running up against a Mega Glalie deck with Lugia. Lugia is a really good Pokemon. Grabbing a Shame, Shame, and a Slowbro. So we're going to go ahead and play Max Elixir. Attach a Fairy Energy to our Xerneas. We're going to play a Floatstone on the Trubbish. And go ahead and put down Hoopa, grab two Gardevoirs and a Mega Gardevoir with Brilliant Arrow. That was a little slow. So we'll play down the Gardevoir, Gardevoir, we'll attach an energy to one of the Gardevoirs. We're going to go ahead and retreat Trubbish into Xerneas, and we're going to go ahead and Geomancy. See if my opponent gets a supporter this turn. Glalie has an attack called Ice Breath. Flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Or for three energy, one water, and two colorless, instant freeze. Does 50 plus damage if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent. This attack does 100 more damage. See Shaman going down for setup for three. Lugia has Arrow Ball for two double colorless. For two colorless energy, this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both Pokemon, and Deep Hurricane for 4 energy does 80 plus 70 if there's a stadium card in play. And my Xerneas is paralyzed. So we're going to go ahead and evolve into Garbodor, shut off abilities, which is really good against Slowbro. We're going to go ahead and... Ooh, we're just going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and pass turn. Didn't have the Spirit Link this turn. Playing a town map. And go ahead and put up Mega Gardevoir. 
play down Xerneas, and we're going to go ahead and play Professor Sycamore. Not a bad turn. Attach a Floatstone to Shikupa, play Fairy Garden, attach an Energy here, Max Elixir. Ah, no Max Elixir today. And we're going to go ahead and hit... Actually, whoops, we made a misplay. We should have uh, attached the Xerneas and Geomancy. We're going to go ahead and... We'll go ahead and Brilliant Arrow for 150. 120, sorry. Pokemon Center Lady! So we see a double colorless going to Lugia. Instant freeze. Let's see if he gets the heads. Oh. Doing 150. I'm going to go ahead and attach an energy there. Let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I'll do a knockout there. Hmm. Go ahead and play it. I'm going to go ahead and attach a spirit link and. Um. <laughs> going to go ahead and Ultra Ball Lysander and an energy. Grabbing a Mega Gardevoir. Brilliant arrow. And going to go ahead and Mega Turbo to it. And then, do we want to attack or do we want to Geomancy? We're going to go ahead and attack and take the knockout. They're probably going to get a knockout on us next turn, but rather have that Mega get that Glalie out of the way. <laughs> Grabbing a get a Trebuch and a Fairy Garden. So this can do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, Mega Gardevoir, you're dead, sadly. Unless he decides to Lysander up the Trubbish. Ooh, Audino. Audino does Drain Slap for 20, heal 20 damage from this Pokemon, and for 3 energy does do the wave, 60 plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each of your bench Pokemon. Getting a Lysander or Center Lady? Arrow ball. Bye bye, Mega Guardy. Go ahead and put Xerneas up. Gonna go ahead and attach for turn and Geomancy. What is my opponent going to do? Is he going to go ahead and try taking the knockout on the Xerneas or bring up a different Pokemon? Ooh, Crushing Hammer. I like. Get heads. <laughs> uh, 
Nicely played, nicely played. So we need a max elixir and an energy. Red is going to come down. An arrow ball for 40. Computer is being very cantankerous right now. My computer is being very cantankerous right now. Going to go ahead and play down Trubbish. I'm going to sycamore my hand away. Mega Turbo! Yay! Play Super Rod. Back these three Pokemon. So I'm going to take Pokemon and Energy back. We're going to go ahead and retreat into Mega Gardevoir, and we're going to Brilliant Arrow for 180. Lucky Helmet allows my opponent, every time a damage is done to one of his or her Pokemon, they get to draw two cards. DCE going down on Regice. Can we get a VS Seeker or a Lysander? We play two Lysander and we've got one more VS Seeker left. Max Elixir! I see a Resistance Blizzard coming. Has two attacks for ice, for 30 damage can do Ice Beam. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's Pokemon is Pokemon is now active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Resistance Blizzard does 70 damage during your opponent's next turn. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. Go ahead and attach it there. We're going to go ahead and play down a Gardevoir and a Spirit Link. And... Put the Fairy Garden down. And do we Sycamore or not? Sycamore or not? And go ahead and Sycamore. We want to take more. Hmm. I'm going to play in. Go ahead and retreat. Into Trubbish and end our turn.
Tierno. Getting three energy back, water energy in specific. Gonna go ahead and rainbow spear after we sycamore. Ah, now we get the Lysander. Gonna go ahead and put this down. And we will rainbow spear. Unless my opponent has a way to knock out my Mega Gardevoir, I have a game. He, he has to knock out a Mega Gardevoir or an EX in order to take game. See a DC coming down to Glaceon. Glaceon does... Second bite, 20 plus for each. For, this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon and Crystal Ray for 70. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by effects from Evolution Pokemon. Let's see a Pokemon Center Lady. And I believe this is game. We're going to go ahead and Lysander up a Shaman. We're going to go ahead and retreat and bring up Mega Gardevoir, and there was game one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll be playing another game here in a few seconds. Alrighty. We are playing DJ Anime with a Psychic Deck. Let's see... Right, go ahead and call heads again see if we get the flip or not. No, we didn't get the flip. Okay. DJ Enemy is probably going to go first. Yep. Probably playing Mega Mewtwo. This is a lousy start. Have to start with Hoopa. That is a lousy start. <laughs> and no supporter. Let's see. Sycamore, Birch, Ultra Ball, Town Map, Lysander, and N. Ooh, that's an ugly hand. Litwick. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting deck. Maybe the new Chandelure? Grabbing a Lampant, using an Ultra Ball, discarding an N and an Energy to get out of a Lampant. So my opponent passes turn, let's see if we get a... And put a Float Stone there, and I'm going to have to pass turn as well. Interesting. Mirror, mirror. Each player either draws or discards cards until that player has four cards in their hand. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and discard Mega Turbo. 
Yeah, discard three cards. Discard that and an energy. Oh, this sucks. Not getting what we need. Deck is majorly stalling on us. I think we're going to lose this one, guys. Yes, I do believe we are going to lose this match. Unless we get another Pokemon ASAP. Wabafets everywhere. Wabafets, Wabafets, Wabafets. Yep, that was defeat. <laughs> well, that's the deck, guys. It's not a horrible deck when it gets starts up, but it can really wall you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.